So you picked up a camera, you started taking photos, and you've gotten interested in wedding photography. You see these beautiful wedding couples, these super intimate moments, and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I kind of want to become a wedding photographer. After eight years of doing it myself, let's talk about five reasons you should be a wedding photographer. Reason number one is my favorite, which is being self-employed. I cannot tell you how much of a dream it is being self-employed. I've been working my whole life for other people and being self-employed has changed the whole scope of everything for me. Setting my own hours, being able to take breaks when I want to, being able to go on vacation when I want to, all of these things have been huge, not only for my own personal life, but especially for my family. Having four kids, I actually get time to spend with them. I can actually sit down and have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with them as well because I set my own hours. I can decide when I work and when I don't work. Now, the only downside to that too is that I can work all the time, but again, that's for a different video. But being self-employed is absolutely amazing. And if you're yourself scared about it, maybe you're thinking that, how am I gonna live without like a dedicated source of income or anything of that sort, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video specifically about that. Reason number two to become a wedding photographer is because you're supporting people on a very important day of their lives. Weddings are extremely important moments in people's lives. And being a part of that is honestly a super beautiful thing. Honestly, you know, I've never even really sat down and thought about it, but we're making photos that basically will be in families at least for the next two to three generations. I mean, look at this beautiful photo of my grandparents. They just both recently passed, so they're gone now. Like, I don't get to see them anymore. But this photo is absolutely beautiful. And there's a bunch of backstory to it as well. Many black families weren't having huge weddings at the time when they got married. So they were one of the first people in their area to have a beautiful wedding and also get great photos for it. I mean, look at my granddad. This dude rocking in white tux though, look at him. <laughs> and I mean, this photo to me personally, even just it in black and white, this is first off, extremely beautiful film. But on top of that, like this looks almost like a modern wedding photography photo. Like I can see this photo in someone's portfolio today. And now my kids, their great grandkids get to see that as well. And we can pass it on through the family as well. So it is very awesome being able to be a part of someone's family, creating something that they will remember forever. Reason number three is fast paced photography. Now, one thing that people may think is that wedding photography is boring because you're shooting the same thing all the time, but honestly, every wedding is very different. There's a lot of things about a wedding that's the same, but each specific wedding has its own things, its own moments, its own feel. And if you're really getting to know your couples, you will know that the feel is different from every wedding, which will affect how you shoot as well. Honestly, again, I've said it in the past, wedding photography is basically like street photography. The speed of it, capturing things photojournalistically just on the fly. It's so similar. I actually made a video about that in the past. You should definitely check it out. But yeah, it's just fast paced. Things are happening and it's really challenging and fun on a photography standpoint. So if you're looking for like fun photography that you can jump into and be like, what are my settings? Figure it out now, gotta do it fast. Like wedding photography is that. When stuff doesn't line up the way it was supposed to and someone runs behind and you have to deal with it, you know, it is fun at least to me, <laughs> dealing with a day and just making sure I get those slamming photos every time, no matter what is happening. Reason number four is obvious, but it can be lucrative. Like it's a great way to make money. Now, again, I've talked about it all the time, but wedding photography is not a money grab. So again, don't get into it if all you want is money. However, if you're good, if you build your brand well, if you respect your couples as people, not just dollar signs, you can make a fair amount of money. I think it was 2019 was the first year that I grossed 100,000 from wedding photography. So it is possible. I mean, I've been living off of wedding photography with a family of, we were what, four to five at that point. We're six now, but with wedding photography, like you can make a good income. And that's not even counting if you start hiring associates and a whole team to edit and just make a whole huge business out of it you can make a good amount of money. And the last reason to become a wedding photographer is it's rewarding and fulfilling. Again, if you care about people and if you love serving others, wedding photography is absolutely amazing. I mean, think about it again, you're making these photos, you're printing out these photos for couples that they'll have for the rest of their lives. 
and you will always be a part of their memory. Even if they barely remember you, at some point, you know, our photographer is always a part of the subject. And then this photo will last on and on and go on be like even longer than you're going to last. And it's just really awesome. You know, I've had so many amazing stories from weddings as well. Like I did one where the bride's father had passed before she got married. So during the first dance, they made a slideshow of them together. And I mean, I was, I was, <sighs> so my, my eldest child is a girl. So I was in there bawling because it just made me feel it so much more. Because that felt like, what if this was my life, you know? And it's just, I don't know, maybe because I'm an artist, I just, I love the feeling of weddings. I love being a part of these amazing moments. I love being a part of a couple I had who it rained when it was supposed to be their ceremony, but instead of getting all freaked out and mad, they actually waited. They did their cocktail hour twice so that they could wait for the rain to stop so they can still have their ceremony outside. And we got absolutely amazing photos. And it was just such a good time. I mean, that couple invited me to their rehearsal dinner so that I could be a part of the day, not just a photographer. And I mean, I was invited to the rehearsal. I'm not talking I went and took photos. I came as a person and enjoyed it as a part of their wedding. And that's also how I took photos. So again, wedding photography is absolutely amazing. And if you're thinking about it, I definitely think it's something you should get into yourself. In the comments below, let me know why you think you should get into wedding photography. Tell me some other reasons that really makes you love being a wedding photographer. And while you're at it as well, check out some of my full wedding days here where you can see me working whole on wedding days.